guys, welcome to my channel. So some of you have been asking for me to do a ColourPop eye look featuring one or mo of the new uh, Ultra Glitter Finish shadows. And I sat down to do this promising myself that I was going to make it as natural as possible and look what happened. So I should just stop lying to myself. So anyway, on my eyes today I used a bunch of stuff including the new Ultra Glitter in Sailor which is that kind of multi-color glitter rose beige champagne super glittery shade and then I also used Mooning which is a glittery brown and Girly which is that white pink yellow duochrome triple chrome kind of shade that you're not going to be able to see because it's just super bright and white and yeah I mean it really does look like that like what you're seeing that's not camera blowout or crazy lighting that's just the color for real so anyway and I have some other stuff on there too so if you want to see how I turn my crazy naked face into something that looks kind of presentable keep on watching Okay, and here is my almost bare naked face. I already have foundation, concealer, and powder on. And now I'm just going to be defining my brows with my Maybelline Define and Fill Brow Duo in the brown shade. Now using my trusty Real Techniques contour brush and the shade Lazarus from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette, I am just going to sculpt me some cheekbones. This shade is a wonderful gray taupe that's awesome for super pale people like me because it creates the appearance of a realistic shadow without looking like I smeared bronzer all over my face. And now I'm going to use a small flat shader brush just to do a teensy bit of contouring along the bridge of my nose. I'm still using that same Lazarus shade. Now cleaning that brush off, I'm going to go into this white shade right here and just go right along the bridge of my nose just for a teensy little bit of a highlight. It makes the contour pop a little bit more. And then I'm just going over it with my fluffy brush to make sure there's no harsh lines. And now using the world's best smelling bronzer, the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Oh, smell it. Can you smell it? It's amazing. I love it. I'm just going to use my big fluffy powder brush, load her up, and go to town to try to make myself look a little bit more human. Less like an alien. And I'm going to go over and over and over just buffing and buffing and buffing some more without adding additional product just to make sure that there's no splotchiness going on. And then I'm going to use a clean powder brush. This one is by e.l.f. just to smooth out those lines without adding any additional residual product just to make sure that everything looks nice and airbrushed and blended out. And now using my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine and my MAC 187 Dual Fiber Brush with just a very teensy little fairy fart of product on it. I'm just going to be doing some cheekerinos here just very lightly. And now using my fabulous Becca Highlighter in Pearl. This is the powdered version. It's a bright white highlighter and my MAC 187 just going to swirl, tap, and buff along my cheekbones. I'm not going to be using the glittery ColourPop highlighters today because I'm going to be doing glitter on my eyelids and I only want to look like about three quarters of a disco ball. So the Becca is really great for that because it has tons of shimmer and light in it but it, it is not glittery. And now using my trusty MAC 217, my favorite eyeshadow brush of all time, and my Jessie's Girl palette in Natural Nudes. I'm using the darkest matte shade down here. It's like a dusty rose taupe, and that's going to be my kind of crease color transition shade. And I'm applying this in small circular motions. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of extra product on the outer third or so of the crease area, just trying to create the appearance of more dimension. Again, buffing it out 
with circular motions. I can't stress how important I feel circular motions are to really avoiding having any stripes of color or harsh dividing lines anywhere. The circles just really help give you an airbrushed effect. And now using my same brush, I'm dipping into the lightest shade in that palette. It's just one that matches my skin tone. And I'm using, again, circular motions and some windshield wiper motions just to kind of help buff that color out up into my brow bone area. And going into this brown, bluish, duochrome shade from the same palette and the same brush, I just wipe it off between colors, using circular motions on the outer portion of the mobile lid and kind of blending it up into the crease a little bit, just following the natural contour of my eye. And if I look like I'm laughing here, I am. I was listening to something funny while I was doing this. So yes, I actually am trying not to laugh as I apply my eyeshadow. And now using my trusty flower eyeshadow brush, I'm just using this with no product on it just to help blend out that darker shade. This brush has kind of firmly packed bristles, but it's still very soft on the skin. So it's really good for blending out darker shades. If you're having trouble kind of getting the look that you want, it's really good to just buff it out with this brush. I love this brush. And now it's time to bust out the ColourPop Ultra Glitter Eyeshadow in Sailor. This stuff is super legit bright and glittery. Eye protection required. Now just using my favorite finger, I'm just going to start tapping and patting this onto the inner half of the mobile lid. Just using patting and pressing motions and you can immediately see all that glitter is starting to show up. Being gentle on my eye. And I'm going to bring that all the way into the inner corner, kind of where my nose meets my inner eye area for some extra fabulousness. We can always use a little bit of extra fabulousness and you can see, even from a distance, you can see that glitter is really, really popping. And I'm just going to repeat that same procedure on the other eye, patting, not swiping so the glitter doesn't move because we want it to stay where we put it. And now using my ColourPop eyeshadow in Mooning, it's that gorgeous blackened brown shade, and my MAC 219 pencil brush. I'm going to really load up the pigment onto that brush, and I'm going to go to town on my lower lash lines. And it may look like I'm really putting too much on the brush, but as you're going to see, it actually hasn't picked up that much. And that's due to that unique kind of ColourPop formulation. I just don't feel like my fingers are thin enough to be able to apply this with my fingers on my lower lash line without looking like a freaking raccoon, hence the brush. And I am putting the color on about the outer two thirds of my my lower lash line. I'm going to leave the inner corner area kind of bare for now because I have something else planned for that. And now using the ColourPop eyeshadow in Girly, which is that wonderful, super bright, like triple chrome color, I am going to use my uh, 219 brush. That's the same pencil brush I just used for the brown. I just cleaned it off and I'm going to apply this on the inner corner of my eye and kind of blend it out along the lower lash line until it runs into the brown. It just keeps my eye looking a little bit more open that way. And now I'm just going to line my upper lash lines with the brown felt tip eyeliner. This one's by Hard Candy. And I'm going to fast forward through this because I don't think that you really want to sit here for eight years watching me line my eyes. And now using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. It is a brilliant opaque white, if I can get the cap off. And this is going to go on both water lines, upper and lower. And look how quickly that goes on. And it's totally opaque. It's not dragging at my skin at all. This is a wonderful white pencil for the water line. And it really will stay on pretty much all damn day. I can't get enough of it. And the best part is, I think I paid about $4 for it. And now I'm just going to exfoliate my lips with my Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub. And by the way, I did also put mascara on. I just didn't feel like y'all needed to see that. So I'm just exfoliating both lips, just really rubbing rather vigorously to get all the little flaky flakies off of there so my lipstick doesn't suck. And now I'm using my Ulta Double Ended Lip Pencil in the shade My Berry just to line my lips. I'm not doing an overdraw or anything crazy like that. 
I'm just going to be applying a dark lipstick, so I want to make sure that I get a precise shape and I don't have any feathering. And now I'm going to be applying some lipstick. This is my Maybelline Bold Lipstick in 795, otherwise known as Smoking Red. And this is a wonderfully dark, rich, opaque color. I would call it a semi-matte. See, one coat. I could have stopped there, but I'm just going to be filling out my upper lip line just a little bit, making sure that my lips look as symmetrical as they can. And this is the finished look. I'm pretty happy with it. Not as natural as I thought it was going to be, but I think it still works kind of well. And now I'm going to set this mug with my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. This is a great drugstore setting spray. Pretty comparable to the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I'm going to fan that to make sure that it dries and doesn't run down my face. And this is the finished result, you guys. So thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. Please click the subscribe link below or above, assuming annotations are working. We know those have been skitsy lately. And thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. And I will see you guys real soon in my next video. Bye for now.